Okay, continue where we left off. So the next fight is, um, the Battle of Bald Mountain. So all of Odin and the Acolytes have assembled the crystal while they're on top of Bald Mountain just to release Chernobog from the depths of hell. Oh, and here's this music. That's cool. That's cool. That's like an epic rock theme version of the Night on Bald Mountain. Oh, um, while that's going on, hold on. The anti acolytes have arrived. Yeah, Odin's not happy seeing the Snow Queen back after he, you know, frozen her. Hold on. I think he's from He-Man, isn't he? Yep, all the anti-acolytes are gonna fight against the acolytes. I'm so aware that my oldest mod is on this group, the anti-acolytes. Oh, and here's where this sage Odin, from the one from Heavy Metal 2000, is gonna turn into. That's really bad CG 3D model of that monster he's turned into. And my god, the design is just bad! It's really bad! It's like a very cheap. It looks like Puck is gonna trap this Odin in the cave. Hold on. And now Puck is gonna deal with. Devimon, huh? And... Whoa. And he's obliterated, yep. And now we got Myotis Mine fighting the Dark Dragon. Okay, now that's cool. Right there. And he's fighting them off, and... You know, you know, against his attack, that is. Of course, my Otis Mon being my Otis Mon, just too tough to be beaten down. And sends him into an unknown vortex portal, wherever that's leading him to. Nurgle fighting against Hecate. Oh, there's a giant crystal. Not sure who that dude is, I kind of forgot his name. Not sure if he's from He-Man or not, because of the animation style. And he destroyed the crystal and takes that flaming power. And there goes back to his old self. And you guys don't remember when I kind of point out that he's like Slender Man for kids? Well, that that there was where History Buff did kind of point out. I just thought I'd point it out in the non-Disney Films tournament commentary, but. Here's a demonstration of that. Yeah, again, wears a suit. He's got these tentacle things. The only difference between him and Slenderman is that Slenderman does not have a face. Nurgle does have a face. And zip, like that. Like even when you get close to like. Slenderman gets you, you get the camera going all like that. You know, st staticky TV kind of thing. But here, it's just electric feud. Well, that ought to hurt him. Huh. Dalon Wan sending his minions against that monkey. I, I know it's for a fact that those henchmen were actually the Dark Hand that were turned into them. So are they just different characters for some reason? That's going to be confusing to me. Because I know they were actually the Dark Hand that were turned into Dalong. Wait, was that Dalong? Eh. Yeah, they're in his minions. I mean, it's still forever since I've seen Jackie Chan Adventures, though. Ouch. 
Ooh. Yeah, he's done well on this bull crap. Well, that's trapping him now. Time up uh, in the magic lasso or whatever it is. And he gets to create Sutor. You know, the fire giant. Oh dear. Yep, managed to fight, beat him down. And he's... Oberon and Myotismon, the Snow Queen, gonna get rid of that crystal. So I guess he's like knocking it off. I guess they used their combined powers to blast that crystal of darkness away to a different planet, I guess. So the anti-acolytes win. And then we go back to the interlude. We see Frollo is still trying to escape from hell. This is basically the Frollo's Inferno kind of thing. Except for trying to get his, you know, well, he is basically exploring hell, of course. But he's just trying to escape. Yeah, while that's going on, he runs into these... Oh, dear. Those would be the unbaptized babies. Here's an inter a little shocking thing from what I get. I'm not Catholic, I'm Christian. There's the difference between the two. I think what I get is that if a baby is not baptized, if they die and they have not been baptized, they go to hell. And that was just dark. I mean, that's what? So I guess this is probably what happened to them if... I don't know, I'd, I'd rather not go to hell. I'd rather not see such examples of that. But seeing them becoming like demon baby-like things with blades for hands? Kind of scary! Except they want cuddles and laughter. They just want to slice you to pieces. In both the game and the movie. Yeesh. And we got... I still don't get why they made Cerberus into a three-headed worm. In game and movie, I don't know why, but in the novel, it was just a three-headed dog. In the circle of gluttony. Yeesh. Eating them all the gluttonous people. Come back, you cowards. I think what I read on the wiki is that it, he's asking them to fight off against that Cerberus. Yeesh. Actually, if I saw that thing, I'd be like, nope, 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 I'm getting out of here. And Charon shows up. Yeah, in Dante's Inferno novel, game, and movie, in there, he's basically leading the souls to hell. Even though he's supposed to be from Greek mythology, helping... You know, gather, you know, get people to travel through the underworld if you get coins. I guess this is different from the Greek version. Yeesh. That, this is so creepy. Actually, this is not Frollo versus the Alliance of Chernobog. It's just Frollo trying to get out of here while dealing with the servants of Chernobog. It's basically what it's more like. Oh dear. All the demons showed up. Man, Frollo's kind of an epic character. He's beating off all these demons. One by one. Huh. Very ironic.
ironic when he said the lines of, and he shall smite the wicked and plunge them into the fiery pit, even though he's in the fiery pit and he's doing that to the demon. Sending him into the fiery pit. Well, that kills Charon, or the, eh, it makes the ship explode. Yeesh. It takes one last look at these souls that are now trapped in the... I think it's a lake of fire, it probably is. It's probably really hot water. Not lava, but maybe in... It's really hot water. That'll burn your skin off. Which is probably is lava, I guess. I mean, it's, it's a place of fire, for crying out loud. And Frollo has gone through the gates of hell. And he's out of here. So that was Disney vs. Non-Disney Villains Part 2, Round 15, Part 3. Huh. Now i got two more to commentate on this one, Round Part 4 and Part 5. Getting close to finishing them. To commentate them, I mean. So see you guys in the next part of... Uh, see you guys in the next video.